listeners all around the world you are welcome to Don Bosco Radio and it is time for your program Ladies Hangout with Benedicta Adequito of course you can call me Lokpedicta so today we want to talk about um, meeting my brother's wife and I'm not alone in the studio I am here with uh, my very pretty Eitemi. Oh, sorry, am I doing the introduction myself? She's going to actually have the floor very soon. And also, very elegant, my model. <laughs> yeah, so let's start with um, the left side. So please introduce yourself. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Fakwede GD. Okay, and. Hello, viewers. My name is Ojumi. Yeah, so you've met them. We have Yejite and Munyonuwa to discuss this together. You know, a lot of times we ladies, um, when we gather, there are so many things we discuss, like I used to say, and that is what we do here on the program, ladies and girls. And one of those things is my brother's wife. You know, I've actually been in a particular gathering and they were talking about my brother's wife. Okay, this was something what I have about her. Okay, I was not happy. Okay, I was so happy to meet her. I was this, I was that. You know, this is part of things we discuss. Sometimes you don't even know what to do. Okay, okay, my brother's wife did this to me. What should I do to her? Oh, my, I don't know. So that is what I want to discuss here. I have two very lovely guests with me here to discuss that together and I believe we have a lot of things to offer for you. So be before we go into what we have to discuss today, let us go on this musical break and we will be right back. You don't go anywhere. Just stay tuned and stay connected. You're welcome back from that break and we are back on the show. Ladies Hangout on Dambasco Radio. For those of you just tuning in, you're very much welcome to Dambasco Radio, the best station that gives you nothing else but the best. And before we went on that break, we were talking about meeting my brother's wife. Like meeting my brother's wife so let me start from my left hand side uh so what uh how was it what feeling did you carry before you met your brother's wife let's start with before you met her did you know when you had this i'm going to meet my brother's wife soon was there anything running through your mind <coughs> Actually, for me, there was no girl <laughs> ceremony because we were friends already, already before the woman said, ah, I want to marry this person. So there was no vibe of, ah, this is what she looks like, this is what so, like, we were friends. Wow. Um, okay, so... Yeah. Actually, I've heard about, uh, you know, mm-hmm. it's a social media world, so yeah, we got yes. chatting on WhatsApp and I saw pictures and... Let me say, I was skeptical at first, like, okay, what she look like? Mm-hmm. Really, I saw her pictures, well, when I saw her in person, she, she looks cool, and I don't have any issues with her, though. My so, after I finally met her, what about that? Uh, she's actually a cool person, like I said earlier, when I finally met her, I was like, wow, so this is the person I've been chatting with, and okay. she's this outspoken type of... <laughs> I feel so cool with that. I don't have any issues with that. Okay, so after, with friends. okay, thank you. After you finally knew that, okay, this is going to be my brother's wife. Like you said earlier, you were friends before. So when you finally realized that, oh, my brother's going to be marrying this lady, what was the feeling like? You knew of nah. <laughs> oh, God, boy. Nothing now, because I was actually cool with that right from the time. Like, okay. We met, I think, 2013. Yeah, okay. that was when I met her. And She's then she's even more she she's even a sister because imagine being the only girl you know okay. that world of you being alone so that's so are I'm, you the only girl too no no but i'm okay. the first daughter so it's just like i'm the mother of the house yeah you know? so i'm welcoming my children <laughs> <laughs> okay after you finally met uh were you trying to be careful like were you trying to say okay let me watch her let me observe her. i want to know the kind of person she is exactly what kind of person she is something it's a like mother that. doing word like <laughs> That that's the olden days now. You will be okay. Let me say selective. What kind of person is she? Yeah. Like she talks too much. Like, no, no, yeah, no. It's yeah, not yeah. done. We are not staying in the same house actually. I'm not the one that is going to get married to her. But uh, me looking at her, like I said earlier, she's a cool person and I'm cool with her. Like I'm not the one that is getting married to her now. My brother that is getting married. <laughs> they move now. They are family. So what about with being with her? What about? Of course, the, it's they are family palaver. But we know that we have family functions and they have to be around. You have to work yeah. together. Maybe you have to organize some things together. You yeah. have to. Maybe it's time to cook and maybe she comes to greet you in the house. Maybe you're still at home. You have to cook together. Things sure. you do together. together. Being yeah. with her afterwards, I was like. 
it's cool like it's fine okay anytime i'm doing my was there any tension compared to maybe when you were alone in the kitchen like you said you're the mother of the house yeah. maybe if you were cooking alone in the kitchen you know how you you take charge of everything yeah. but now she being around how was they feel like it, it makes the work <laughs> easier that's just okay. it. it makes the work easier before i said this she's already there you know, yes i know that vibe but you have a just this partner inside the kitchen before you know we should not even burn the food that we are preparing so it makes my chores easier that's just the truth because she's a cool person now it's somebody i'm so used to now so it makes everything easier yeah that's just it okay over to you the same question so being with her working with her having to do things together how was it like uh it's been fun because most of the time she's the one that's always in the kitchen oh my god it's quite funny yeah she's always the one then i'll just go there show face then at times when i'm in the kitchen we cook together we play songs we dance we do everything in the kitchen so there's nothing serious okay thank you very much for that so before we go on this break let me throw this question to you let me start from you today okay. right now rather um uh you've heard about people who say they their brother's wife is these bad annoying blah 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 you've always i, sh- I believe yeah. you should have because yeah. if i personally have friends who will be will be like i don't even know what to do to them my brother's wife i am tired of how she behaves it doesn't allow my brother to come home himself during christmas holidays and all those stuff yeah. like that what do you have to say what's the take on that actually what i have to say about this is um we grew from different home mm-hmm. different background and people have different characters the thing is we can't be perfect that's just it so you have to bend if you feel you can adjust actually i'm a lady so i can't give anybody prayer because i'm going to somebody's house too and i don't know what i'm going to mm-hmm. meet mm-hmm. and uh see so a lot so if I start giving her prayer, eh, she's not doing this right, she's not doing that right. I don't know where I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to face. So in that um, instance, I don't. I just have to, let me say, be cool with her. And if she's not ready to be, let me just leave her, pack her aside. I don't want Wala for my own life. I don't know. So that's just my own take on that. Okay, over to you, Jide. What's the take on that? I think she has said Pascal Hall. Because we are humans and we are different from each other. For example, in our own house, it might be that um, they don't eat breakfast, and in our house, it is compulsory that we eat in the morning. But she's not used to it, and us as I be us as a family, like we're used to. Once it's six a.m., we have to run, we have to go and cook, mm-hmm. and she she's just so used to waking up, clean the house, whatever like that. I can't say because also we eat breakfast. I start putting the pressure on her. I have to make her to adjust to, to what we do and also I feel she should she and her husband they should have spoken like triggered mm-hmm. these are now nah, what is this all for our family with this so and okay as common sense you should know that oh, this, this is the family I want to marry I have to adjust to what they do okay yeah. okay still on that we have some people some people like um, maybe when their brother finally brings home a lady and this and they just feel like their brother becomes Mm, rejected like should I say <laughs> um, repelling towards the family okay. staying closer to the lady like of course you definitely have to stay closer but because uh, but when it times to when it's time to come home you know once in a while you come home you don't forget your entire house because you now you now have a new family mm-hmm. and they just don't feel confident with the fact that and this is who my brother is now is now a very different person what well, if you are a younger sister to that brother is there any particular thing you have to do in that kind of show so please give me something on that okay i i'll just have to adjust because okay when he was single we do everything together yeah. practically so let me say starting up his own family me okay me i'm not having a family yet and i'm going to have a family very soon he's starting up his own family so things will surely be different actually it will surely be different because okay they will make families they start making babies you have to provide and it's not compulsory we stay together okay in an instance maybe i'm staying here in Aquaria and he got married he relocated maybe he traveled out so it doesn't really come home often like that we uh at times it might be painful you might think otherwise but the thing is just to adjust that's one sense. of the place of changes okay let me give a very vivid example i know it might be very wrong yeah. but let me just give an example of someone whose brother sends like um maybe this particular allowance to him every 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 month so um after marriage of course you're supposed to stand on your own but i see your brother is still taking care of your needs so he stopped entirely 
I'm just giving a particular yeah, yeah, example. There are fine. other things. It could be in other aspects. Like yeah. maybe it used to help you to do some registrations before, but maybe after marriage because you feel like the wife is the one saying, don't, don't send it. Don't do this. Don't do that. What kind of reaction do you think can be given to that? Like what advice you you think you can give to someone? Actually, like, we are humans. Mm-hmm. Naturally, I will feel bad. Like, okay, so because you got married, you stopped doing this. But well, I'll still have to think otherwise. Like, okay, he's having a family. Maybe he hasn't gotten his own house yet. It will be parents. Yes. Feeding the wife. Mm-hmm. Okay, there are other things that he's going to source up for, rather. And the family's wife, too, they are there. Okay, as the husband, he has to provide for his own family and provide for the family's wife. When I see situations like that and I see it constantly going on, I'll have to call his um, attention to the issue. Okay, mm-hmm. ah, guy, come. You are doing this thing. You stop. Okay, I will be. I will hear from his own side. I won't just jump into conclusion that his wife practically stopped him from doing all sort of things. Because okay, peradventure, or let me say, take for instance, me and the wife were friends before. I can't just jump into conclusion that a friend to me decided to stop something like that that my brother is yeah. doing. Though we have people that do it naturally. Yes, yeah. yes. A brewer, my follow. Showing you, it's yeah, yeah, happening yeah. everywhere, but well, that's what I have to say about it. I will just have, though it will be f- painful, I will just have this registered in my mind that okay, let's see, maybe something came up. But what I'll do most is just to call his attention to it and talk to him about it and hear his take on it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, over to you. Let us go to the place of spirituality. I don't want to ask you this question, I just asked that. Let us go to the place of spirituality. You know, there are sometimes. Hmm, when uh, we go visit people, let me just say people, you go visit maybe your brother, father, prophet, whatever, and they are saying, okay, so so thing is happening because your brother's wife is this, your brother's wife is that. We, we, we see them everywhere, and you have an opportunity to advise that kind of situation or to take care of that kind of situation. What will you do? <laughs> what advice will you give the person in charge? Like, what will you do? Okay, um, on thing of spirituality, I feel before they came together, they knew what they were up for. Mm-hmm. They knew their level of spirituality. Like, the wife knew that, oh, this is my balance okay. on my spiritual life. Yeah. And the husband knows that this is my balance on my own spiritual life. So, left to me, I don't really have much to say than tell them that they should work more on their spiritual life. If it's for them to get closer to God, they should move closer instead of listening to one pastor or one this one that instead of listening to pastors yes. thank you very much all to our viewers and listeners all around the world you've heard it from my two beautiful young ladies in the studio and they've actually spoken at length though short but i love every important details and information passed come let's start from the last question i asked spirituality a lot of ladies let me be very sincere about that they have this attitude of my brother's wife is the one doing this causing this imbalance in the spiritual realm or something and they feel like let me pray for him my brother has been bewitched my brother has been this that and they don't even want to they don't even want to see from the lady's perspective they don't want to be sure then you go visit all these prophets i don't know so-called ministers of god and they tell you something bad ah is the wife that's turning his back to the family okay this is what is up now and you serve it to advice like my guest said advise your your brother please brother be more spiritual Take your spiritual life very important and increase the level in case the percentage is 20 20 percent before increase it to 50 from there you move to 60 70 gradually so to do that you just give yourself a one problem forgetting the fact that you as a lady you are going to another family like she mentioned in fact i really love that we as a lady like as a lady as i am right this i'm going into a particular family you're going to meet anything you don't know what you're going to meet but a lot of ladies we forget that and we take some unwanted situations personal <laughs> we want to solve issues that doesn't belong to us and this has really caused a lot of family dilemma before now but thank god because this is 24th century mm-hmm. and a lot of things are changing and things are getting very much balanced and we believe that it would keep getting better so now let us go on this very very short musical break and we will be right back so don't go anywhere because when we come back we are going to talk about the place of tradition in our relationship with our sisters or should i say our brother's wife so you don't go anywhere stay connected 
Basco Radio, and this is your program, ladies and girls, with Benedicta Adepito, or should I just say Lokwe Dicta? And I am not alone in the studio. For those that have been with us, you know I'm not alone in the studio. I'm been, we've been discussing meeting my brother's wife. How did it feel when you want to meet your brother's wife? Were you anxious? Were you scared? Were you wondering who is she going to be? She's going to be my sister now. Was it easy for you to adopt her? Is this, oh yeah, that question I've not asked my guest here. So let me just throw it directly to... Let me start from there. Okay. That's it. So were you, was it easy for you to adopt her as a sister? Like, because she is going to be part of the family. It's an automatic thing. As far as she's your brother's wife, she's going to be an automatic part of the family. How easy was that for you? It was pretty much easier than I thought. Okay. Okay, the thing is, let me tell you the truth. She was actually my namesake. Okay. So we bear the same name and I was like, wow, really? <coughs> so that's cool. And let me tell you, she's a cool person. Like, I don't have issues with that. So it was much easier. I even got closer to her than my younger sister. Mm-hmm. Funny enough. So it was so much easier for me to just bring her in and accept her as my own sister. So that's just it. Okay. Before I get over to AGJ please advice to those that have not been able to you know make it easy like you said it was way easier for you than you thought it would be yeah what advice do you have for ladies out there who have sisters but they don't want to accept the fact that she's my sister now they want to still be like i want to be my me i want to be maybe the second daughter the first daughter something like that what are your advice um my advice is to just <coughs> bring the ego down and embrace embrace them because a family can be stagnant. We keep moving every day. Mm-hmm. We keep multiplying. So if you That's decide it. to be hostile, like you don't want to accommodate your brother's wife, in short, I don't see any of them as my brother's wife again. I see them as my sister. sister. So you just have to accept them. And as a lady, you will be going somewhere else. I will keep emphasizing on that. And we, uh, karma is real. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do, you are going to receive it. So that just it. If you don't accept them now, I don't know where you are going to. You don't know how maybe you'll be accepted or not. So, and it's whatever you do now, whatever you reap, that's what you sow. So, my advice is they should just calm down. Even if the brother's wife has skin, skin, I don't know, <laughs> or she's a bit ash. Okay, ash or, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so they should just calm down, assess her, try to talk her out, or probably report her to the brother. But in a very cool manner. You don't have to be there. You cannot marry her. She's this. She's no, yeah. no, no. You don't, you don't need that. Because before I brought her home, you already made this choice. Yes. So you don't have to, re- you won't, you won't be part of that home. So you don't have to reject anybody you bring home. So I think my advice, as I said earlier, they should just be cool with um, the wife and embrace her. Okay, thank you very much, Munya. So, Yejide, what's your take on that? Yes, your brother's wife, how easy was it, was, was it for you to accept her as a sister? Because learning from the fact that you are the only girl, or the only girl, just like me, you're used to doing things alone. You don't share your clothes, your <laughs> shoes, your powder, because you are alone. So now having some other person now, your sister, because your brother's wife is supposed to be your sister. So how easy was it for you to accept her? Like I said earlier, like, we're friends. So, like, try to say we should our place. So it's, it's not something new. To mm. me, like even though we are not of the same size, so there's nothing to even share. <laughs> so I don't share, but I, I didn't have any problem, like, and I don't even still have any problem with her being my sister. She has been my sister a long time ago. All this marriage is just so hard. So that's just okay. Thank you very much. So let's go to our question What's the place of tradition when it comes to your relationship? Yes, so over to you. Um, for me, I'm not really a fan of tradition in the sense of maybe all these auntie. And yes, because um, the Yoruba tradition says when your brother's wife comes, in fact, when the lady, even if it's a newborn baby, as far as the lady met that baby in that family, you have to respect and come. For me, the aunt. tradition is kind of a key because I don't know why would I be calling a newborn auntie? <laughs> like, it could make sense now. It doesn't please. make sense. So for me, I'm a fan of auntie, uncle. Please hold your auntie. Like what your back will say. I might not say it the correct way. Also, but that is not your I don't know how to say it. I'll be auntie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, thank you. 
So you calling me as it does not mean you cannot still insult me. Yes, of does course. Does not mean um, you cannot. Um, I cannot still be rude to you. You that are older than me. For example, something happened recently. One of what is my mom's wife for the hair. She calls me auntie. Like I first my brother, I told her please don't call me and say again because of tradition. Mm-hmm. You can call other people auntie, but me as a person, my name is Yejide. Don't <laughs> add auntie to my name. So we call ourselves names. She calls me by my name, and everybody's fine. So cool, like, that way, over to you, Um, I'm not a fan of tradition also. Okay. What was that? What was the other? Calling somebody <laughs> a newborn baby, the auntie. Can you call me? No, no, no. tradition. Respect is reciprocal. You don't have to call me auntie before you respect me. But one thing is, I believe uh, in whatsoever we do, we should apply common sense. Once you see this person is quite older than you, you are not supposed to be told before you respect the person. Mm-hmm. Calling her auntie doesn't mean you've respected her actually. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, my call her auntie, ah, auntie, auntie, can you call me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've done it, I'm called for who call me. Mo yori, I will pray. Then I will accept that. I will gladly accept that. But the thing is, uh, like I said, common sense is actually necessary. It must be applied. Apply your application like one of my uh, father in the Lord. <laughs> Just say. The thing is, once you know this person is older, respect her. Whatever you give, you take that's just it so that's my own take on it okay i love both of you's take on it now going back to those take what do you have to say about that particular tradition like i said it's a key because if you want to form an hashtag stop local tradition or something we're going to start it from here do you understand (laughs) so what do you have what do you have to say about that particular tradition of your calling in fact a very young person in fact there's this thing my mom used to say that when um, a new wife comes in you give her a new name and that's the name she has to bear and everybody calls her that name name different from the one she bears from her house do you get my point so what is the take about that tradition maybe we can start a new hashtag for me it's like because yeah, and the, and I feel the children should start from us now. Some people yeah. like it too, like they vibe to um, their brother's wife or their whatever, calling them auntie, uncle, whatever. Some people vibe, but I feel by in the modern age. So why would you still yeah. call me auntie? Please, for goodness sake, let's drop those traditions and let's move forward. She has said it though. That is your sister. Let's so drop it. That big. I'm here, you know. Please let's drop it. Hashtag drop. Um, a cake tradition of um, Auntie, Auntie, of aunties Auntie, and uncles <laughs> when you're married, <laughs> it's not done. I'm, I'm repeating what she's saying. That's it's not just done. It. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I feel so glad to have you on the show with me, and I really enjoyed myself. It's actually been nice here. Let's talk about meeting our brother's wife. It is our brother's wife because I happen to be a lady, and I've met my brother's wife. You want me to share my experience? (laughs) Okay, for me, I was actually, like she said, they were friends before. Me, I wasn't friends with my brother's wife before and so meeting now was official um my baby's coming to greet you and uh just tell me tell me anything tell me what up with her i want to know please just tell me be open just be free okay so i was there waiting and when she finally came and she was so beautiful you know mm. <laughs> and you know you know she has a very nice stature a lot bigger than me and i was like wow my brother got her eyes <laughs> <laughs> And that was how it went for me and I was, to be sincere, I was on the observing side of this issue. I was trying to watch, to be careful because mm-hmm. I don't want any problem. But eventually there was no problem anyway. Just like you said earlier, whatever it is, just have to accept. In yes, fact, sir. everything was so beautiful. So to our listeners out there, I won't start the advice for me. You, want, you think I'm going to give you my advice? You have to wait. So let's start with Moyolua. What advice do you have to our listeners out there? Uh, my short advice is just be yourself, embrace whoever your brother brings in, and life just vibe, vibe, vibe. That's just this life is too short before mm-hmm. you start bringing the same people. You won't, you won't run the family for them. Oh, I'm saying, it. please just vibe. Okay, thank you very much, my Ejide, <laughs> what advice you have for ladies out there? Uh, I think we should learn to accommodate people. Whatever mm-hmm. um, flaws they have, we should accommodate them. And like people say, you can't change anybody. If yeah. she's a very bad person, or God forbid, no, you will God her, forbid, okay. if she steals, you cannot say because she's my brother's wife. Oh yeah, she must stop stealing. Baba, you do yourself. 
<laughs> because it is an like it's that is her, it's her person. It is if she's willing to train. So let's accommodate each other and let's leave. It's only one life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So my own advice is very very much same with what they have to say. Just leave yourself enjoy it and relax yourself it is when you feel like there's one problem out there there is she's coming with a problem what if she's this square troublesome what if she's that is when the problem will come to you because even when she hasn't done anything you think she has done everything so the thing is calm down relax meet her enjoy play together in case you are the only girl you're not used to this girl thing before it is time for you to have a new twin sister a new elder sister you understand so it is time for you to feel free relax yourself and enjoy the moment be free with that work together whatever it is you're not convenient with maybe when you're working together okay she used to take the place upside down and you wanted to be taking in the other the other way around open up in a very nice way ah why don't you put the place like this okay then she shares that well, okay i thought it's best to do it like this you can both like you can bend for each other and let's it flow just let it flow leave it love it like on tv <laughs> okay so this is all we're dropping on the show today on the program ladies hangout coming to you right from the studios of dambasco radio and on the show with me ever since is um mm-hmm. yes and my <laughs> yes and also your host benedicta adequito and it's really been lovely and wonderful i hope you were able to get one or two things so in case you're still expecting your brother's wife your brother's wife feel free don't worry cool down and in case you've met her and you feel like there's something you want to change my sister you cannot change anything <laughs> accept and be happy you understand just be happy every time if my beautiful guest came in with this very lovely you know expectations and they really got it from their brother's wife so have a very good expectation because it is what is in your mind you're eventually going to get so that is what i will be leaving you with on the show today so till next time on the program ladies hunger i'm saying bye, bye. <laughs>